العالمين خاتم النبيين جد الحسن والحسين أبي القاسم محمد وعلى أحلى بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المكرمين الذين أذهب الله أنهم الرجس وطهرهم تطهيرا ولعنة الله على الأدائهم أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقل جاء الحق وزهق الباطل إن الباطل كان الزهوق صدق الله العلي العظيم In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful Dear brothers, sisters and elders Assalamu alaikum jami'an wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh the events of Karbala have transpired. The family of Rasulullah, Imam al Hussein, Abbas, all of their companions, they have been massacred mercilessly upon the plains of Karbala. And the survivors, Umm Kulthum, Sayyida Zainab, Imam, Imam al Sajjad, and all of the female members of the Ahlul Bayt, they are forcibly dragged from one place to another in chains, dragged and forced to endure the thirst and cruelty of the open desert, forced to look upon the severed heads of their family members. They reach from, they go from Karbala to Kufa and then from Kufa to Damascus. And when he is in the court of Yazid ibn Mu'awiyah la'anatullah alayhim, Imam al-Sajjad alayhi salatu wasalam delivers a powerful sermon which shakes the very foundations of the heavens and the earth. أيها الناس أن من النبي البختار محمد ومن الصديق ومن الصديق ومن الطيار ومن أصد الله وأصد رسوله ومن سبط هذه الأمة من عرفني فقد عرفني ومن لم يعرفني أن بعده بحسبي ونسبي O oh people from us comes the prophet of authority Muhammad his friend Ali the ascender Jafar al Tayyar the Lion of Allah and the Lion of His Messenger and the grandsons of this nation, al Hassani wal Hussein. Whosoever knows me, knows me. Whosoever does not know me, let me tell him who I am and to which family I belong. Ana ibn Makkata wa Mina, Ana ibn Zamzamin wa Safa, Ana ibn man humila ala al buraqi fil hawa, Ana ibn man usriya bihi min al masjid al haram ila al masjid al aqsa. أنا ابن من بلغ به جبريل إلى سدرة المنتهى أنا ابن من صلى بملائكة السماء I am the son of Mecca and Mina I am the son of Zamzam and Safa I am the son of the one who strode through the heavens upon the Buraq I am the son of the one who traveled from Masjid al-Haram to Masjid al-Aqsa I am the son of the one who was taken by the angel Jibreel to the seventh heaven I am the son of the one who led the angels of paradise in salat. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Ana ibn Muhammadin al-Mustafa. Ana ibn Aliyin al-Murtada. Ana ibn man daraba bayna yaday Rasulullah bi sayfain. Wa ta'an al-birumhain. Wa hajar al-hijratain. Wa baya al-bayatain. وَقَاتَلَ بَدْرِ وَحُنَيْنِ I am the son of Muhammad al-Mustafa. I am the son of Ali al-Murtada. I am the son of the one who struck down the enemies with two swords in the presence of Rasulullah and stabbed them with two spears. I am the son of the one who emigrated twice, pledged allegiance twice, and crushed the enemies at Badr and Hunayn. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. أنا ابن صالح المؤمنين ووارث النبيين وقام الملحدين ويعصب المسلمين ونور المجاهدين وزين العابدين وتاج البكعين وأصبر الصابرين وأفضل القائمين من آل ياسين رسول رب العالمين
I am the son of the greatest of believers, the inheritor of prophets, the destroyer of deniers, the commander of the Muslims, the light of the Mujahideen, the ornament of worshippers, the crown of weepers, the most patient of the patient, and the most steadfast from amongst the family of Yasin, the messenger of the Lord of the worlds, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. أنا ابن المؤيد بجبريل منصور بميكائيل أنا ابن المحامي أن حرب المسلمين ولسان حكمة العابدين وناصر دين الله وولي أمر الله وبستان حكمة الله ليث الحجاز من العربي سيدها وأبو السبطين الحسن والحسين ذاك جد علي بن أبي طالب I am the son of the one who was supported by Jibreel and backed by Mikael. I am the son of the defender of Muslims, the tongue of the wisdom of worshippers, the supporter of the religion of Allah, the protector of the affairs of Allah, the garden of the wisdom of Allah, the lion of Al-Hijaz, the master of the Arabs, and the father of the two grandsons of Rasulullah, al Hassani wal Hussein. Such is my grandfather, Ali ibn Abi Talib. Ana ibn Fatima al-Zahra. Ana ibn Sayyidat nisa I am the son of Fatima al-Zahra. I am the son of the leader among women, brothers and sisters, what you just heard was a short version, an abridged version of the full sermon of Imam al-Sajjad. And yet think about how powerful its impact is, is upon the human soul. Just imagine a 22-year-old young man, Imam al-Sajjad, a man who has lost his family in Karbala, a man who is thirsty and starving, a man who has been dragged from one place to another, suffering humiliation after humiliation, whipped and flogged, starved and thirsty, and forced to look upon the heads of his family members, he stands in the face of his tyrant. One would imagine that an ordinary person in this same situation, they would be traumatized, they would be silent in fear. But Imam al-Sajjad was not the silent type because he was an Imam of the Ahlul Bayt. And the imam of, Imams of the Ahlul Bayt, they do not stay silent in the face of oppression because they are the embodiment of the injunctions of Rasulullah. And Rasulullah, when he was asked, what is the greatest jihad, he replied, Kalimatu haqqan in the sultan in Jair, to speak truth in the face of a tyrant. And this is exactly what Imam al-Sajjad alayhi salatu wasalam did. He spoke truth in the face of Yazid. And his khutbah, his sermon, had such a profound impact upon the members of the court of Yazid, la'natullah alayhi, such a deep impact that they began to sympathize with the Ahlul Bayt and some of them began to openly cast blame upon Yazid Yazid realized that his position was being threatened. He needed to create a distraction, so what did he do? He ordered his mu'adhin to deliver the adhan prematurely. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. The Mu'addin began to deliver the Adhan. When he said, Allahu Akbar, Imam al-Sajjad testified to the greatness of Allah. When he said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Imam al-Sajjad testified to the oneness of Allah. And when he said, Ashhadu anna Muhammad al-Rasulallah, Imam al-Sajjad turned towards Yazid and he asked him, Yazid, was Muhammad your grandfather or my grandfather? If you say he was your grandfather, then you are a liar. And if you say he was my grandfather, then why have you killed his family? Yazid at this point, he became overcome with such arrogance that he openly professed his kufr, his disbelief. He denied the existence of Allah and the prophethood of Rasulullah. A few years after these events, Yazid died. He died just as he had lived, a kafir, a fasiq, a zalim. And may the eternal curse of Allah be upon Yazid and his father Mu'awiyah. La'natullah alayhim ajma'een wa la'natullahu ala al-qawm al-zalimeen. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad.
Imam al-Sajjad alayhi salatu wasalam spent the remainder of his years in the city of his grandfather, al-Madina al-Munawwara. And in this city, he built a base of knowledge which was later expanded upon by his son, Imam al-Baqir, and then by his grandson, Imam al-Sadiq, all the way down the line of Imams until our current Imam, Muhammad ibn al-Hasan al-Qa'im al-Mahdi jalallahu ta'ala farajahu sharif Brothers and sisters, the majalis that we hold in our day and age in honor of Imam al Hussein, ask yourselves where do they originate? They originate from Imam al Sajjad. He was the pioneer, the founder of this great and beautiful legacy of ours. So let us honor him every time we. Uh, we commemorate and honor the death of Imam al Hussein. Let us keep Imam al Sajjad in our hearts and our minds. Let us benefit from the wisdom of his words. And just as he spoke truth in the face of tyranny, in the face of Yazid, let us also speak truth in the face of the tyrants, the oppressors of today. And inshallah, justice will come into this world. Ya Allah, bless Imam al Sajjad alayhi salatu was salam. Bless. Bibi Umm al Kalthum, Bibi Sayyida Zainab Salamullahu Alayhim. Ya Allah, bless Rasulullah, bless all of the Shuhada of Karbala. Ya Allah, send your eternal la'nat upon Yazid, Muawiyah, and all of the oppressors, the tyrants, from the very first day to the last. Ya Allah, purify us, bless us, let us be amongst the righteous in this world and the akhirah, and give us the strength, courage, and conviction to unveil the ugly faces of the tyrants of our day. Ya Allah, hasten the reappearance of our final Imam, Muhammad ibn al-Hasan al-Qa'im al-Mahdi, ya Allah, farajah al-Sharif.